Hello welcome to Fast Movies and today we are going to talk about the movie called Frozen. At the beginning of the movie we see childhood friends Dan Walker and Joe Lynch, along with Dan's girlfriend Parker O'Neill, spending a Sunday afternoon at a New England ski resort. They are waiting for the particular attendant who can cut down the cost of the ticket. Unfortunately, the attendant was replaced by Jason. Not wanting to pay full price for three ski lift tickets, Dan convinces Parker saying she is beautiful and has a charming smile to bribe the ski lift attendant, Jason to let them all on the ski lift. Parker flirts with Jason and says that she lost her card and is short of money. Parker gets the ticket and soon Jason comes to know that the ticket is for Parker's two boyfriends and not for the girlfriends. On the way up the ski lift shuts down suddenly everybody around shouts to turn on the lift, Joe makes fun of Dan who is afraid of heights. He shakes the lift Dan stops him suddenly lift starts back up again. Three enjoy the ride and Joe tries to help a girl nearby on her binding while her boyfriend pushes him down. Then the girl asks Sari and introduces herself as Shannon and leaves the place. After spending all afternoon watching Parker fall over herself because she cannot snowboard, the guys decide to leave Parker in the room so that they can enjoy the day without her. Soon Parker comes to know about the plan and she agrees that she can wait in the room until they come. Dan and Joe ask Sari for planning this and ask her to join again. The three are eager to take one last run down the mountain before they go home. However, it is now evening, and the ski resort decides to close early because a storm is moving in. Meanwhile, Joe again meets Shannon and gets her number. The friends remind Jason of the bribe and convince him to let them on the ski lift one last time. At this point, the resort is almost deserted. Initially, Jason refuses to do but after some time he warns them to be on time and allows them into the ski lift to start the lever. Before the group gets all the way to the top, Jason is called into the boss's office regarding his leave that was already planned a month before for his brother's bachelor's party, and is replaced by a co-worker Rifkin who informs Jason. As Jason leaves, Rifkin asks Jason to shut down the lever but he tells Rifkin that there are only three skiers left and then the ski lift can be shut down. Another set of three skiers comes down the mountain. When Rifkin sees them, he shuts down the ski lift stranding them in their ski lift chair far above the ground. The friends are first annoyed they assume that there's another technical difficulty with the ski lift. A few minutes later the lights go out one by one, scaring the three skiers night has come and a snowstorm moves in. After a while, a snowcat comes to the spot to collect wood and it seems as if the driver Cody is about to see them. However, at the last second, Cody is called back to base as the job was already done. The friends threw the things in in front of Cody but due to the heavy weather, he couldn't hear anything and left the place. Dan and Dan shout at Cody but the attempt was a massive failure. After several hours, the friends realize that no one is coming to get them and that they could be stuck up there all week, as the resort is closed on weekdays. Meanwhile, Parker says that she wants to pee and later she gets afraid of falling down and plans to hold till the dawn. But Joe decides to pee hanging in the lift. Parker then loses her right glove while smoking. Dan realizes he has no choice but to jump from the ski lift chair and get help, as they will not survive up there in the bitter cold until Friday. Dan jumps off the lift onto a hard section of the ski path and suffers a compound fracture in both of his legs. He shouts in pain and starts to bleed heavily as the bones pierce out from the muscle. Joe threw his scarf and asks him to stop the bleeding. Later on, he is approached by a wolf who growls at him, but Parker throws her snowboard at it and it runs away. Joe, now fearing for Dan's safety, decides to climb up and traverse the ski lift cable so that he can get to a chair that is closer to the ground. However, after traversing a few feet he returns to his chair his hands cut and holding Parker, preventing her from watching the scene below. Dan has now been surrounded by a pack of wolves who devour him, horrifying Parker and Joe. Joe blames Parker that this was her fault and she should have stopped Dan from jumping down. Parker starts to cry and later she hugs Joe and consoles her. Joe diverts Parker and shares how he met Dan for the first time. Since then, Dan never left Joe at any cause. Parker reveals she was waiting to marry Dan. In the morning, Parker wakes up with her right hand stuck to the ski lift safety bar which she has grabbed in her sleep. She painfully pulls it free, losing skin in the process. In addition, she has developed a bad case of frostbite on her face. Parker couldn't control herself and started to pee while sitting on the chair. After a few hours, Joe climbs up traverses the ski lift cable severely cutting his hands in the process. This time safely climbs down the ladder of a support pole two chairs back. At the same time, Parker's ski lift chair begins tipping as it has started to loosen from its supporting cable. After fighting off a pair of wolves using a ski pole, Joe slides down the mountain on Parker's snowboard as the wolves chase after him. 
Another night passes and no one has shown up to help Parker. She now realizes that something has happened to Joan. The next day, she begins to attempt to jump down herself, but the bolt holding the lift chair fails and the chair drops some 20 feet but is caught by a supporting cable. Parker jumps down, now from a fairly safe height, but is injured after the lift chair falls on her ankle. Parker then alternately slides and crawls down the mountain, pausing when she sees a streak of blood in the snow and is then approached by a wolf. After sizing her up, the wolf returns to the nearby pack, who is apparently finishing off Joe's remains. Completely traumatized Parker makes it the rest of the way down the mountain to a nearby road. Eventually, a car appears and a man comes to her rescue. While on the road, the man calls the hospital and tells them that he had found a girl hurt outside of the ski resort. The film ends with Parker hearing Dan tell her you'll be okay baby you're going to be okay. Thanks for watching make sure you subscribe and hit the bell for future videos bye.